Hi, I'm Mark Cleveland and welcome to Photo Training For You. Uh, it's a short film really just to show you the new RF Pro Bracket by Custom Brackets. It's designed to enable us to use our on-camera flash position, i.e. the horizontal, but even when we turn the, ca the camera around, we keep that flash in the same position. The benefit of doing that is that we throw the shadow behind the subjects instead of allowing a shadow to really form. For instance, if, uh, if I was photographing a group of bridesmaids, mums and dads, and basically the flash here will light heavily on this one side and then put a shadow on the opposite side so I'm vignetting the group in one way but then I'm also applying a, a shadow coming out to the side whereas if I use the uh, RF Pro bracket it enables the flash still to kind of be thrown down behind them and gets a great shot without any kind of fuss with it. Um, it's simple to do once you get it out of the box you kind of set it up for the camera whether you're using a battery grip or a normal camera uh, you set it up to the height at the height of the lens and just some simple kind of adjustments here on the base to fit pretty much any camera on the market. And then all I've done here is I've fitted it with a, a TTL cable coming through, uh, fitted for my flash. I'm using Canon here, so I've just got a Canon TTL cable coming through to the hot shoe, and now I'm fully in automatic mode again. So I think we should do some shots and just show you the power of the RF Pro bracket. Okay, Becky, let's do it. Keep there. Again, lower the chin. Keep again. Happier. That's lovely. So those first few shots are using the RF Pro bracket in exactly the way it's designed to be used. In other words, when we're in horizontal, the flash remains above the lens, and when we're in vertical, the flash still remains above the lens, always throwing the shadow behind the subject, of course. If we use it in the traditional way, so in other words, if that flash was still on the camera hot shoe, when I shoot the horizontal image, let's do that one first, there's no difference, okay? We're getting that exact result. The flash is being pushed, the shadow down behind them because the flash is above the lens. However, when I start to turn it into the uh, vertical position, now what we're gonna do is push that shadow off towards the side. So we're gonna have a highlight running down the left-hand side, a shadow off to the right-hand side. Let's do that, straight at me. And you can see exactly the effect that we've got there with that shadow going off towards the side. Now imagine that was a group of two or three bridesmaid and a mum and dad, or if you're a paparazzi out on the kind of the streets. The key point there is you want an evenness of exposure running throughout the whole portrait. And one of the problems is when we're working in the traditional way of hot shoe flash, that is always going to give us a hot part, in other words, an overexposed element to the photograph on one side and gradating off with the flash onto the opposite side. But then we're adding that extra bad part, of course, which is that shadow. So whether you're a traditional flash photographer or a funky new up-and-coming fashion photographer, the key point is to think about where the shadow is going to be created within the image. And if you want to minimise the amount of shadow in the photograph, the RF Pro bracket will allow us to at least minimise that direction to the light, keeping the flash above the lens at all positions. So, hope you enjoyed the film. See you next time. Bye-bye. Excellent. Just there, Danny. Happier. Excellent. Excellent.